Hello everybody and welcome back to new area door. In theory, you should know this place because, if I'm not mistaken, I uploaded a video yesterday for you in which I explained to you how you can join the server on our event on Sunday. So if you haven't seen that video, there will be an event on Sunday where we remove the whitelist so you can join us playing here on the server and uh, then yeah it will be open for one day so you can play with us you can explore the world with us you can ask us questions and everything else information wise you will find in that video and i hope that you're excited for this event i am and i'm right now in the middle of preparing stuff but then i thought well i want to do something in the town hall because that's where i am we've got our meeting table here and uh, yesterday we used that and we were thinking about putting some stairs and today I went into creative and tried out some different designs for stairs, tried to make them look cool and I came up with this and I really love this design here for the stairs. I think it looks just awesome and, whoops, that was the wrong button. Uh, since I only have six in place right now, I thought I might just record and show you how to build these stairs because it's actually quite complicated to put them in place because yeah, playing around with minecarts is a bit tricky. So I've got all the materials that I need here in this chest and I guess I will just grab this stuff now and start building uh, this up and explain what the mechanics behind this is. So I guess that should be enough. I don't need all the minecarts right now. So first up we need to place in our lamps. So as you can see in the back, we've got the lamps here and uh, these um, yeah, are here because we need some, a block where the door can be placed on. So first one would go here and we need a lever in the ground to power it, but it can't be powered directly because then the door would open. I guess I did this wrong already. So let me try this again. Lever goes right here and then the redstone lamp goes on top. And I guess that I will just build three of the doors, or not of the doors, of the seats right now. And the reason for me doing three is uh, that I kind of need to build them together since they are all next to each other. And as you can see the trapdoors here are uh, connecting in this block even if they are not connecting in the hitbox. So it's a bit uh, tricky to place it in. Then we take the doors and just place them right here. And uh, then for sitting, we'll have uh, the trap doors. And on these trap doors, there will be our um, minecart. So we need to place a block and then the rail on top and then the minecart. So like this. Let me quickly do it for all three. Minecarts and the last one and now we can break the blocks and the minecarts will just fall down onto the trap door and Now as you can see there is a half slab inside the minecart The reason for that is that we want to place the iron trap doors on the sides So what I need to do is uh, rip out a bit of the table here so we can actually place um, some blocks in front which are uh, normal pistons here and I already nudged this minecart and that's a bit of a problem with uh, these stairs. You don't want to nudge the minecarts and if you take a look over here, I can walk up to this thing. I can nudge them a little bit but they can't go out because of these fence gates and they are having a bigger hitbox. And right here in the middle there is no iron trapdoor because these are connecting so I placed in a fence gate and then another fence gate underneath so I can't nudge this one to the side more than this and we can't break our thing so and now you saw that this one turned around we need to fix that in a little bit but for now we can just place in the slabs here and then we can take the redstone blocks and power these and since there's the door the minecart can't uh, get moved and therefore the um, slab is inside the minecart now. Now we can get rid of the pistons here and the problem now is that we can't place the trapdoors on the half slabs 
Because if I try this, okay, let me get the half slaps, I'm in the minecart. So that's a bit of a problem and we can fix that. Can I place it actually? No, I can't. Oh, I moved it. That's always bad. It happened quite a lot of times with the other ones that I moved the minecart and I guess I already built, uh, let me think, maybe 10 of the seeds because I had to redo them every time and uh, until I figured out how to make it so I can't move the minecarts anymore. That took me quite some time, so let me place it like this. Move this one back into position. And now I can place some more slabs like this. And on these slabs I can place the trap doors. It seems we've got a slime trunk here. So that's maybe not that good. And now you can also see that um, I placed this one on that block and now I need to place one here and that's why I need to build them together because then I need a piston here in a moment to push these into position. Because this one is attached to this block but it will open to the other side. A bit confusing but uh, you will see it in, in just a moment. Then one here and now I need my pistons again. So piston here. And then another one, uh, there's still block, right there, and one there. And now if I power these, we will move the trapdoors. Oh, this one is of course wrong, this is the middle where the second seat will be here, so we don't need this one, there will be a fence gate instead. So like this, and now I can remove these again. And I can also remove the half slabs here in front. And now it's already getting together here. What we need to do next is uh, power these trapdoors so they open. And that's why we have the wooden trapdoors underneath because if I place a torch here, this one will open too. So I need to close it manually and that that's can be only done with wooden trapdoors. So and we've got this and I also think that the uh, redstone torches go very well with the banners because it's a bit of red touch to it, a bit of detail, but still it's technically needed. So yeah, now that we have that, we can grab the fence gates. I've got them here already. And uh, make sure that the minecarts won't move. And now when I update the strap door, it's uh, will open again, so I need to close it in just a second. So this one is still the wrong way around. We need to do something about it because this one is turned and we want to have them all facing the right way. So either it will move when I'm standing here. It seems it doesn't. So let's make sure these are closed because if they are open, I'm trying to move a minecart, then minecart will just fall down and I have to redo the whole thing from the beginning. Now I can open this one and just move this minecart a little bit forward and now push it back and if I'm lucky it will turn in a moment. Yep. So this is now also in place. This one is also wrong. So let's do the same here. Making sure that this is closed. All right, moved and now moving it back in. Come on, turn. Whoops, that was a bit far maybe. In theory it should turn. Let's just close it and wait a sec. Sometimes it takes a while until it moves. And why did this one turn now? Maybe they want or they prefer to be in this. Oh, now it turns. <laughs> well, this is a bit strange. Let's nudge it over and stand back again. Close the fence gate and eventually it will move. So all that's left to do now for these uh, things is the banners. And they will just go right there. And uh, then I can fix the table again. And then we can have a look if I missed anything. 
So I guess there's one here, then two and two like this. Yeah. So this one still didn't want to move. Now it did. All right. So that's the stairs in place. And I think that this looks quite awesome. We'll have 24 stairs around the table, which should be enough. And I will continue working now on this until I've got them all in place. And then I'll be back with you and show you the final result. They are all in place. And now I can do this traveling around the table by just right clicking all the mine cards. If I can get the angle right. But yeah, that took me quite some time. And now it's looking quite awesome, in my opinion. Let me know what you think about this table and the stairs. But anyways, I will head over now to our base. And uh, then we can do some more work over there. Because I've got a little bit of time left for today's episode. So why not do that? And we need to light up this spot over there. That's a bit dangerous, having a creeper. So meet you over at our base. It's getting day here in our base. Isn't that a beautiful view? I think that that's awesome. And why I'm here, I want to show you what uh, we did in between the episodes. It's not quite a lot since I'm recording this closely after. You know what, by now I'm still working so I can't record during the week and I have to do my recordings at the weekend. But yeah, up here uh, there's the strap door now because uh, we want to have a, a way to get up to here and you saw it already there's a snowman because the snowman that was down there had to go finally but we still wanted to have a snow farm and we can just sit now in the minecart here and uh, harvest the snow just like this uh, sometimes we even get the snow behind but uh, it doesn't need to be that effective I think but uh, that's a good way of getting some snow here. And uh, if we drop down, uh, we can just close it again. And besides that, we were lighting up some caves and we found something which is quite awesome. That is right over there. Uh, yeah, let's right over there. Oh, that was a bad joke. Um, so we can go to kind of over here, there was a cave and there we found a spawner so where is it there's the cave entrance it's a big cave entrance here and then if we just go down uh, we then duck a little bit of a staircase here so uh, we connect this up to that entrance here we've got a skeleton spawner which is awesome because uh, then we can get bones right in our base we don't have to go anywhere and uh, therefore then get the bone meal, get maybe some uh, bows as well if we want to craft a lot of dispensers. That's always good to have a skeleton spawner. So another future project, I guess we should start a list of projects at some point, which we want to do in that base. And maybe we can start something like that in the next episode. But uh, yeah, maybe... Um, Next episode will be a bit special because, uh, yeah, we have the event on Sunday and I think that I would just record a little bit if I can on uh, Sunday morning since the event starts for me at 8 and then the first hours I will record a little bit and you can join me there. So we are having a bit of an event video where we won't do a lot of building, just a bit of, yeah, hanging out with you, exploring the world which will be great. So I'm looking forward to that and I hope that you are looking forward to that too, that you will join us that day. And then maybe the video after or the Sunday after, I'm not too sure if I can do then the Thursday's episode, um, we can uh, start our project board list and maybe you can drop some suggestions what we should do. I already asked for it in uh, the last episode, I know. But uh, please do more suggestions uh, what we should do next. So the witch farm, the skeleton spawner we've got. We've got the iron golem farms. We've got the village area. We've got the farm area where we could build a steak farm, a fish farm. And so much stuff that we can do. And we should really write it down on a board, I think. Or in a book. So... Leave some suggestions and 
uh, then we will see you next Sunday on the server. I hope that you'll be there. I will be definitely and I'm looking so much forward to that. So until then, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, even if it was a bit shorter now. I think that I will go ahead now and prepare stuff for the event so everything goes well. And then I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.